As homeschool parents, it can be really easy to compare ourselves with others and with other homeschool families that we know or that we see. But as homeschool parents, it is so important that we don't compare our homeschool with anyone else's. I want to share why in this video and give you some encouragement. Please hit like on the video and subscribe to the channel so that you'll get notified whenever a new video is released. So when we're homeschooling, it is so important that we do not compare ourselves or our homeschool with anyone else's. And it can be so easy to do that because there are so many resources out there where people are sharing what they're doing in their homeschool. And we often can compare ourselves with friends who are talking about what they're doing in homeschool. And it's kind of natural to seek out information about what other people are doing in order to try to figure out what might work for us and then to compare ourselves with somebody else's homeschool. We also tend to compare our kids with other homeschooled kids or with other kids their age in public school. And we might see, well, our child is really good at this, but they might not be as good at that. And so those kinds of comparisons can creep in really naturally. And it's important as homeschool parents that we are really intentional not to compare and not to get focused on those comparisons. The first reason for that is because your family is unique. And so your homeschool needs to be unique as well. What works for somebody else's family and somebody else's kids may not work for yours. And that's just because their kids and their family are a little bit different than yours. The way that you teach in your homeschool and the way that you encourage your kids is going to be different than the way anybody else teaches. And the way that your kids learn is going to be different as well. And one of the biggest benefits to homeschooling is that we can customize our school experience for our kids to be exactly what they need. So when we are comparing our homeschool to somebody else's and then trying to follow their model, that is not the way to create a unique experience for your child. And when we're trying to follow somebody else's lead and make our homeschool look exactly like theirs, we give away that benefit of being able to customize our homeschool for our kids. It doesn't matter if your homeschool doesn't look exactly like anyone else's. That does not mean that you're doing it wrong. It means that your family is different. And in fact, it means that you're doing it right. It means that you're customizing your homeschool to fit your family and your family's needs. And instead of comparing our homeschool to somebody else's, it's so much better to learn about your child. Instead of spending energy thinking about what other people are doing in their homeschool and trying to model them, spend that time and energy with your child. Observe your child. Really get to know your child as a learner. Spend time teaching your child and then reflecting and observing what worked, what didn't work, and really refine how well you know your child. Instead of becoming an expert in what other people do in their homeschool, become an expert in your child. Get to know how your child learns and how your child thinks and how your child is motivated and what your child loves, and then incorporate those things into your homeschool and create a homeschool that is unique for your family and unique for your child. And that is how you really succeed as a homeschool parent. That is how you inspire your child with a love of learning that will last them their entire life long because they had this wonderful school experience that was unique to them, that was customized to them. Be willing not to follow the mold that anybody else is making. Be willing not to compare your child with other kids. Instead, focus on helping your child to be the best that they can be.